today we are going to discuss about how to plot certain graphs and do statistical analysis using graphpad prism so as you can see on my desktop i am now opening graphpad prism software so this is how it will open then we can make as you can see on this diagram we can do large number of graphs preparation however we are going to learn x base scatter graph column graph and group graphs preparation in this so i'm starting with the xy graph preparation so i'm clicking on this these are the different types of graphs we can make by using x and y axis values so you can choose any one of them as per your requirements so for example i'm choosing this one second one so here in bottom they are asking me so this is the vertical graphs you can also make horizontal graph where you can put the x values you know the graph will turn horizontally but however we want to make a vertical graph only so i am clicking here on the y values so if you have only one y value then you can click on this sometimes we do it when we have multiple y values then we can click it here when i say multiple y values that represents different replicates i think all of you know in science we try to do experiments in replicates so i'll show you quickly both the examples first time drawing a x y graph by using a single value here i can click and then i will click on create so when i click on create i will get a graph like this here as you can see i need to fill up these values so first it is asking x title and then starting with y title so for example i am having this value values i have already created for example these are the values of growth curve analysis where i have time in hours and then od values I'll just copy these titles and these values from this Excel file and put it in this particular table. So as you can see, same thing as came here. X axis I want time and OD I want on Y axis. I've entered the values here. Now as soon as I will click on data here, I can see the graph. Now here you can fill all these labels. The Y axis was OD, so I can fill it. I will type it data what it is growth curve analysis growth curve analysis this is how i make this graph now i can save it i will have to go to file save as and maybe i am saving it on growth and desktop with the name growth curve analysis gca now if we have multiple y values or you can say different replicates of y value then what we can do so again uh, you can open it from the starting from here itself or if you have continue if you want to continue the same file you can click over here file go to new and now here you have a opening you can open a new file itself or you can add a page into this same file so i am just trying to add a new page into this file so by clicking is new data table and graph creation so i'll get the option again now here we can select how many replicates value we are having so we have two replicates then we can select two number if we have three replicates we can select three or so on and then it will ask you how you want to plot your data so usually we plot our data in the form of mean and standard deviation or sometimes we can plot it in mean and standard error also like mean SDM, mean SE, like that there are different options. So you can select any one of them based on your choice. And we'll just create, click. Now you can see for filling a single, uh, you know, Y parameter, we have to fill all these three things, right? So here we will fill, uh, like for example, again, we'll copy the data from here. So I've already taken this. So I'm just copying replicate 1, replicate 2, replicate 3 data and pasting it over here. Again here I'm putting OD. Right? And here you can put your hours. 2, 3, 4, 5. That was the time. Right? Now as soon as I'll go on this, I can see the graph. Right? 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Right, this is how we can create graphs. Okay, here you can fill your time in hours, 
and here we can put OD. This is how you can make graphs in this. Then further you can again save. So this is x y scatter curve. Now next we will learn is how to make column diagrams. Right. So again I will go to column option. Fine. Then I can select whichever column we want. So usually we usually prepare this column graphs in our research work or project works. So it is asking you. you want to plot what mean values in which standard deviation or mean with standard error what so you want to plot only mean value so i will select this and click on create right here it is asking me what is your y values in line diagram there is no x values so it is asking me what is your y value so i have again already have some values so i will fill it up for example drug a when i am giving to some fever patient it is resulting in this temperature when I am giving it to B patient it is resulting into 40 degrees centigrade in C patient uh, C drug it is resulting into 21 degrees centigrade and with D drug it is resulting in 41 degrees centigrade so I have this data so I will copy this data and put it in this so it is asking directly y graph y value so I will be just putting it out here and as soon as I am putting it I will get graph here I can put what it is. This is what samples, and here what it is temperature. So we can label it like this. Here we can put drug, drug response, or whatever is our labeling. Then we can save it. Next thing we are going to do is group graph preparation. For group graph preparation, we can again open this web. Then we can select the option of group. We can select whichever type of graph we want. So usually we prepare this kind of graph. So I'll select this. Then again it will ask me single values I want to put or multiple values I want to put. So I'm selecting the single values, not the repeated values. That is up to you what you want. I'm just clicking on create. It is asking me. Uh, what is your y values so group means we have multiple groups like for example this data as it is showing i have given drug a drug b drug c and drug d to three group of people one group of people were having adults other group was having children and other group was having old people so this is the temperatures in them so i'm just copying this data and putting it over there in the main software like this just copy paste and this is the name of the drug which we have thought so again i'm copy pasting it over here now we have data we will go into this we can see drug a drug b here we can do labeling this is how we can make group graphs so after so I taught you how to make line diagram, uh, XY scatter graphs and group diagrams. In the next video I will teach you how to make, how to do statistical analysis in there.